Hey guys, I uh, just want to show, share a quick video here. Um, this is a coffin I made several years ago. Um, in fact, I, I made a YouTube video about it and I'll put it down below, a link to it down below. Um, it started off as a pneumatic coffin and worked pretty well. Um, but I tell you, this is the last pneumatic prop that I have. Um, I love pneumatics and they work great, but I just feel like every year it just takes me more and more time to set everything up and then uh, I had some problems last year with air pressure and also I, I never know where to put my compressor because um, it just makes so much noise that I don't want to keep it outside so last year I actually put it in my kitchen and so we had people over and it was loud it was going off every five minutes or whatever so so I said, if I get the chance, I'm going to convert this over to an electric prop. And so I've, this is my attempt at it. So, um, so I had a, a Peekaboo Junior left over from a prop I made last, last year. And so I figured I'd try to use that for this prop. Um, but what I wanted to do was replace the pneumatic cylinder with what you see here. It's a... Um, it's, uh, uh, linear actuator uh, a high-speed linear actuator uh, from fright props so um, I'll just take a peek inside here um, I the one thing that is is, is kind of uh, a negative on the linear actuators is they're just so big this is this is just an eight inch stroke but the whole thing is like 20 inches long um, it's just a one of the negative things about the linear actuators um, because they got to put a motor in the, in the bottom of them so it makes it much longer than um, what would be a pneumatic uh, cylinder um, but I think by doing this uh, give the prop a lot more control I give it a little bit more action with uh, using a controller As a matter of fact I've got the controller down here um, and I kind of just put this together at the last minute, so it's not the greatest thing, but um, underneath this, I, this is just a Tupperware top of a container. And uh, just the reason I'm, I'm doing it this way is the prop has got to be outside of the coffin because when the prop is activated, this coffin is closed. And I do have a, a I'm able to unbolt this but the only way to get the coffin open is either I got to unbolt that or I can just take this off and, and, and use a, the um, peekaboo to open the coffin if, if I were to have to get into the coffin for any reason, uh, if that makes any sense. But, but yeah, once the, once the prop is activated and it's closed, you're, you're not going to get it open. Uh, that that uh, linear actuator is not going to move. So, so uh, I'll... Uh, Show you how it works and i'm pretty happy with it um i i just i think it's going to be way more reliable than the pneumatic prop and um it just gives me way more control so and then i don't have to you know pipe any airlines out to the yard you know it just seems like more of a, more of a hassle than anything to Cause you got, I mean, even with a pneumatic prop, you still got to have electricity, and then you got to have the airline. So, in this case, all I need is, uh, you know, just electricity to the prop, and I can put it anywhere in the yard. So, uh, so I'll show you how it works. Okay, so here's the prop controller. I, I think I misspoke. I thought I said I had a Peekaboo Junior, but this is actually a Peekaboo Plus, which is a four-channel controller. Um, Note that if you want to use a linear actuator for anything, it it actually takes two channels, uh, one channel for moving up and one channel for moving down. And for this right now, I have a third channel, which is just a light inside. Um, I would like to add a fog machine in here for the fourth channel, um, but I don't have that yet. So I think I just might, might pick up a cheap fog machine and I think it'll add to the whole effect um, so let me here's the PIR sensor over here so let me I'll, I'll move over here and set it off and, and show you what it looks like 
Okay, so there it is. Um, I'll, uh, I'm sure this will look. I'll would make a much better video if I did it at night, and I don't have my cemetery set up. So uh, once I get that set up, I'll I'll put up another video showing this outside at night. And um, anyway, um, hope you like it, and uh, happy Halloween and happy haunting.